Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the first episode of Timeline. Now if you don't know what Timeline is, if you haven't seen the introduction slash announcement video I put out a few days ago, go give it a watch. It'll be linked in the description as well as in the annotation that's popping up on screen right now. I don't know where it's going to be. Go give that a watch. It'll give you a better understanding of what each of the shows on the channel are, just as well as general channel updates. Very informative. Go give it a watch. Now I am going to give you a brief overview of what this show is going to be about because it is the first episode. Um, we're going to be basically looking at trailers and cinematics on here and trying to, you know, first react to them and then just looking at them and seeing if we feel like they're effective or good trailers or good cinematics and why that's the case or maybe why that's not the case and looking at specifically the editing rather than the visuals, although we might comment on some of the visuals. You'll get the idea, I think, watching through this episode. So with that side note out of the way, let's get back on track. For today's first episode, I wanted to start things off with a trailer that I absolutely love. Typically, I would want to do this show more with trailers that I haven't seen, you know, with like a movie comes uh, comes out with a trailer or something like that, me reacting to them. That would be kind of my objective of the show, but in this case, I wanted to start off with a trailer that I absolutely love. I think it's one of the best game trailers I've seen ever. It's definitely one of the best car trailers I've seen. Today we're going to be looking at a trailer, or the announcement trailer, for the original crew game. I just think this one is a really good trailer, and I really wanted to make a video about it and kind of dissect it. So that's what we're going to be doing, hope you like it, and without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Alright, it is time to start watching. Now I'm going to first watch it through completely until the end without pausing. You're just going to get my maybe thoughts during it, or just reactions, me bopping around to the music, and then once we've watched it through, we'll actually stop and look at individual parts, pause, and kind of start dissecting it a bit more detail. So without further ado, let's watch. Peggy 12. Imagine like the amount of time that it takes to like model all those little elements just for the warehouse. Like it's, it's a lot. This is cool. I know there's a uh, this this shot right here. That's perfect match cut. This part. Right. Look at that. Oh, this is like... I don't know why more trailers don't do that. Okay, this, this actually looks so real too. Like, it doesn't... You know, you could legitimately think that it's not like a... Like, um... Like an actual, you know, animated thing. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> this, I think this is like one of my favorite parts. Right here, this, this, aw, oh, this is... There's a specific reason why, but it's so good. Look at that. They're cool cars too, like even if, we're not even talking from the editing point of view. Nice. I can never picture what city that is. Like, I feel like Seattle, maybe? Or, I don't think it's LA, but I don't know. Look at that. Little details like that, you know, when they're building the cars. Mm, perfect. This. So. This is perfect. And boom. Yeah, perfect. I remember when this came out. That was awesome. Cool. 
The choice of music was great for this, like, oh. Nice. Okay, so yeah, that was, this trailer for me is so good for so many reasons, and uh, there's so much about it that I really like. So, you know, let's kind of start diving into why I think this is such a good trailer. Now, I think the first thing that is great is that this trailer just kind of keeps you in until the very end. The pacing of this trailer is perfect. Like, you start out with, like, Peggy. you kind of have this... Yeah, pretty much this section that's kind of a nice build up. And then when the car starts building itself, like it's just so like it, you kind of get excited about it. And then I think what's really great about it and what really helps the pacing is the music choice is perfect because it kind of keeps you going and it kind of it has like moments where you think, oh, this is climaxing. And then it kind of adds more to it. And I think it's perfect. OK, so let's Peggy take a look. 12. I think it's great to open on here and I think here it's very standard you know you kind of have like just a couple establishing shots just kind of know where you are and I think it's really important and then yeah this tire like it's perfectly done and then this they really do a lot of they do great jobs with match cuts here there you go this one this is perfect and then like one thing that also I will point out is the fact that like when you think about it there's four cars in this trailer and you start with four, the four tires. I don't know if this was on purpose, but I think it's really well thought out as well that like they have, you know, the, the themes of four kind of going along with it. And I think that also helps it a little bit. Yeah, this, this like, I love how like the music kind of drops. There you go. There you go. So like you kind of have like things kind of settling. And what I like is that, see, maybe something I would have maybe done slightly differently is I feel like it would have been cool if like it just like drops as soon as like you kind of have this like as soon as you have this moment with like the bolt i would have had the drop and the tire transition happen a bit quicker but i kind of get what they're doing is to kind of let your eye kind of focus on the full tire and it helps with the match cut i think maybe it would have been too quick if they had done it i think it would have been something that i would one would have wanted to try if i had been the person editing this is seeing if i could have the beat drop more with the cut although it works really well like this but the kind of and then immediately like hit that kind of beat drop more as soon as the bolts are in place i think that would have been something i would have wanted to try but you know I, I don't know for sure it would have to be something that i would have to try and see how that looks maybe they did try it it didn't turn out very good it works well like this i'm just saying this is like a very nitpicky thing that i think could be you know, trying a different way and maybe better, I don't know. So if we continue along, this is perfect. And then we have like kind of this wipe. I think it's perfect because having this kind of wipe is perfect to transition and using the camera speed to really help that. I think if you had tried a slower, like the camera to kind of move slower, it would have not quite worked as well. And I think this just for me works so well. There's one cut here that I really like is you kind of have, you know, this, which is cool. Like, this is just really great, you know, shots and very intense. This part here, where you see the kind of thing kind of leading your eye, it kind of moves up and then you see this thing, it connects and then boom, it's just a perfect cut. You have the screen turn on as the electricity kind of activates. It's, it's really well thought of and I really, really like that. And then here, you know, just like that pan and you, you've changed environments. This is a really great way to hide a cut to a different environment. I think this is like the cinematography in this is great. And we've already talked about cinematography a little bit with the crew too in the breakdown, but this just helps, I think the cuts, just the way the cameras were thought of and stuff like that. I think it just works really well hand in hand. So like, I think the sound design is really thought of here because they use parts of the song really well to kind of have moments, you know, like the um, the kind of violins that are very intensely going. And then you have like the drums that kind of like do like a doo -doo -doo, and then that's when the crash happens. It's perfectly thought of. And then this part here is my favorite part, like this. And what I like is that they added a little bit of a kind of cymbal hit to kind of help the transition and it's not a perfect you can see they added a little bit of a almost like a flare or a flash just to kind of help the transition 
There you go. Kind of a, a little bit of a flash of white to kind of help them tra transition from what is a very dark environment and very, you know, kind of studio-esque lighting to a much, you know, daytime thing. This is perfect. You have a lot of quick cuts, which is really working well. You know, there you go. You kind of get some of the scenery. And then here, perfect. Like, look at that. This just works so well. So what's done really well in this trailer is the way that they have like almost establishing shots of the environments and then they cut to close-ups. Like if you look at this one specifically, you see, so you see the kind of place in the background right here and then already you see it's in the background. So you've already known where you are and they're just kind of bringing you in the action. It's just really well done. And then here this transition, there you go. Up. So see, my only, okay, this is a little bit of a, a critique or whatever. So you see how close you are to the car here. I think what I would have done differently maybe is I would have had this shot a little bit closer because I think it would have helped the transition and you wouldn't need that kind of flash. It would just be a more of an instant transition and I think it would help a little bit. Uh, although to be fair, it's not terribly far, so I think it still works, but that's something maybe I would have tried is just having, you know, the position of the car match, you know, in the two shots. I think that would have helped it. But although this does, you know, give you the expression of speed and stuff like that. Here, look at that. Whoa. They do a great job here of like adding a lot of close ups to kind of give you an idea of what, you know, you're watching. And also because this is a, a game about cars, they really put a lot of emphasis on the cars, showing you the details and stuff like that. And I think it's really cut well. The interesting thing that they did here with cuts is instead of having, you know, one camera or one continuous long shot to kind of guide you through it all, they kind of just have a lot of cuts. And I think this helps the intensity, especially because you're making a trailer about cars, you want to give the impression of speed. Having a lot of cuts definitely helps with that. And I think it's also some cuts are longer, some cuts are shorter. It's They've just been able to really do a good job with that and pace the cuts as well, well with the sound. I think that's that's what's done really well here. And then this is this is really good transition. You kind of have the, the truck kind of hitting the camera to kind of create that natural cut for you, which is perfect for this. And then here, what I love is how you first see the red. Look at this. You see the lights first and then it kind of fades. Oh, look, it's actually the car. It's really well done. And it's, they make perfect use of the color of the car. It's nice that they pause here to kind of give you a chance to kind of read the environment. And then here they pause again. And then that transition to the logo is just perfect. This is really great. And I'm not even, you know, talking about how good the animation is. You know, the animation is amazing. But yeah, no, this this has a lot of really great cuts. Um, and it's just really well paced. And just, I think it's, it just gets you hyped. I think it's, the music is really well picked. The sound effects are, are well timed. And they've timed cuts to certain points of the soundtrack that just really help, you know, the transition work better. You get the constant impression of speed, of intensity, and I think that's exactly what they were trying to do with this. And that's personally why I feel like this trailer is really effective. So yeah, no, this is really great. Like I said, this is one of my favorite trailers that I've ever watched. I'll link this in the description if you want to watch it for yourself. I think from an editing point of view, this is literally the perfect trailer. So there you go. That is it for this episode of Timeline. I hope you enjoyed this kind of format. If there's anything you'd like me to do differently for this show, I am so open to suggestions. Please leave them in the comments. I'll be reading through everything. And uh, if you enjoy this, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to, so you can kind of stay updated with the channel. If you want to turn on the notification bell as well, feel free to do that. And with all that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Take care of yourself and see you very soon. Peace.